Hello. Where are we? We are in the Northern Territory. We've packed up in Brisbane, sold our house, moved up here to Darwin in the Northern Territory. We're going to do a bit of uh, touring around, a bit of holidaying, a bit of sightseeing, and that's all thanks to you because you've got a job up here. So that's what's brought us all this all this way. So yeah, thanks Jess. You're it's, welcome. It's always, one, <laughs> it's always one place I've wanted to go, but it's so far away from Brisbane. Like it's, you know, it's really hard to tour around the Northern Territory. Like you need to take four week holiday. So, you know, most people only get four weeks per year. So it does really, really make it hard to get to see all the sites in the Northern Territory. So yeah. It's right on our doorstep now, so in the next couple of years we're going to be seeing all the Northern Territory and I can't wait to do that. Same, and we'll be able to do it with that big canopy that you've built. Yes, our touring canopy. This is our next edition on the Hilux. So we've, um, we've, we've set it all up for touring. Um, I'm calling this my Hilux budget build. Um, I've decked it all out on the inside myself, uh, which is a really big job. Um, it does take a long time to, to do that and you can understand why all these companies charge so much money to actually deck them out. I'm definitely uh, no professional, but I had a good crack at it. I'm pretty happy the way that it's turned out. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna give you a bit of a walk around and show you what we've done in our MW service body canopy. Perfect. Rightio. So it's an 1800 canopy, it's permanently fixed onto the chassis so it doesn't come off. Um, that's definitely a cheaper way to do it. Some people get trays and then they have the removable canopy. Um, that sort of, I felt, had double the cost of, of doing that. So that's why we've gone with the uh, the permanently mounted canopy. I don't need to take it off and use it. I've got my own little tipper truck anyway, so that's fine. I don't need to worry about that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, as I said, 1800. It's got a couple of underbody toolboxes. <laughs> on the outside here. We've got a couple of jerry can holders. It does have the capability of carrying a spare wheel. I don't actually have mine up there. It does have some underbody drawers. Same on the other side, underbody toolbox. So what I'll do, um, also we did put a water tank underneath there as well, which is gonna be a little bit hard to show. But anyway, so this is our rear drawer. stiff there. <laughs> this drawer is a little bit shorter. I know a lot of the canopies they might come with like sort of 16 to 1800 long canopies. Ours is a lot shorter because we've gone with a water tank. So um, the water tank is actually in front of this drawer. All we're using this drawer for is just to keep all of our recovery gear. We've just got our straps, got a saw, a couple of gloves, shackles, all those bits and pieces that I don't really use. So they're just stored out here under the back, out of the way. Um, probably not going to be able to see, but as I said, the water tank is up the front. I've mounted my own little tap here at the back. That's one thing I didn't realise um, with this canopy um, when I did ask for a water tank. That's all you get is a water tank. You get absolutely no plumbing. You don't get a filler point. You don't get a tap, um, which did make it really hard to actually install um, because all the inlets are up on the front side of the tank. So unless you've got an engine hoist or something like that, it is pretty hard to get access into it, but anyway, we managed to uh, come up with a little system. I've got my tap here on the back. It works off gravity feed at this point in time. I do have a little inline pump that I can hook up to it. it hooks up to a 12 volt with a little spray gun on it. Um, that does quite work quite well. If you want to have a shower or, or blast any of your plates and dishes off and stuff like that. And I still haven't come up with the best solution for my filler point. So that's just pretty much loosely sitting in there. It's a couple of poly fittings and the cap. Um, yeah, so that's where we're filling it up from. I don't really, it's really hard to sort of make something, I suppose, or get somebody to custom make up a plate, which we could actually pop rivet onto the side here. It would, would make it look a lot neater and tidier. So hopefully I might be able to find somebody up here in, in Darwin to, um, Fab something up for us just to make that look a little bit neater and tidier. Um, what we'll do, we'll come around to this other side, the main side of the canopy, I would say. Now, 
what we have done is I've gone to BCF and I've just purchased a couple of their drawers. So they came on special and so that's when we decided to jump on them. We went in there, it was a catalogue special and they've got to pull the sign down so we got them even cheaper than what <laughs> we were meant to get them for. So it worked out good. So we ended up saving about 250 bucks on these drawers. Um, this is actually a fridge slide. There. So this is a, the fridge slide and I've just made my own pantry. I've bolted all that onto the top of the fridge slide myself. I can keep my coffee machine. I've got a couple of little cup holders up here where I can chuck my wine bottles. In the back here, this is actually designed to put two of those, I think they're five litre or maybe 10 litre um, filtered water things from, from Coles or Woolies. So I can fit two of them in there. Um, put all my pots and pans and plates up the top. Have actually slides back in. Nice pantry. And then you've got another table, prep table that comes all the way out. And then another table where you can actually put your cooker. It's got a wind barrier. Um, there are a couple of legs underneath here. We won't worry about putting those ones out today. But yeah, there's heaps of room to do all your prepping and cooking. Um, yeah, we've used it quite a bit this weekend. It's worked a, worked a treat. We also, from MW Toolbox, we got their fridge cage with the Bushman 65 litre upright fridge. So I've mounted that in there. I've also gone with an XTM pre-wired power box. So that's just got all the switches. You've got a couple of 12 volt um, cigarette lighters, USB cables and, and whatnot in there as well. And I've just utilized my Red Arc 25 amp BCDC, which I used to have in the front, um, which was mounted up near the bull bar underneath the hood. So I've moved all of that out, put it in here, and I've paired that up with a 120 amp iTech battery from iTech World with a battery monitor and shunt as well. Um, that, that was a big job to do all that wiring. I've done a little bit of 12 volt wiring myself, but yeah, that, that definitely, was a, a lot of work doing that. That was a couple of weekends. Yeah, it was probably about three or four weekends. But anyway. Looks good. Yeah, it works. it's all come together pretty good. You know, the only sort of, some of the mistakes I did make along the way, like I did have everything and I thought I'd measured everything out twice. And you know, as they say, measure twice, cut once, do all that. Um, but one thing I did make a mistake on is I thought I gave myself enough room here with mounting the power box with the fridge to this fridge slide. Um, and what I've done, I've, I've mounted these drawers on these um, aluminium uni strut channels. So I've had to pop rivet them on, but I've actually put them a little bit too close. Um, they would have been better off being back towards the canopy, about 100 mil. Um, for the simple fact that I can't really get into my fuse box here. So I've got some fuses which are on the side of this power box. So that fridge and that sliding drawer should have been down hundred mil, which would have given me a lot more room. Um, but what I'm going to do once we move into our new place, I'm actually going to pull this fridge out. I'll just cut off these aluminium edges, which will allow me to just be able to stick my hand in there anyway. And I'll be able to have a look um, at my fuse box if, if something does go wrong. Um, all my other fuses are actually mounted over the other side. Um, where I can access them from, from the other side of the canopy. It's only these couple of small ones here. Um, something else I did forget to mention is we did put the inverter in, which is a, a 2000 watt um, inverter from iTech World as well. Uh, so that's good, that runs my coffee machine. Um, we can have a coffee anywhere. We're coming back from one of the parks, uh, waterfalls today in Kakadu, and I just felt like a bit of a coffee. So we were able to pull up on the side of the road and, and brew up a coffee, which is which is absolutely awesome. That makes me really happy to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's uh, pretty much this side of the canopy. Um, as you can see, that there's plenty of room in the back of the canopy. We don't like to load it up with everything. And I don't know that I mentioned it before, but if I was doing this canopy over again, I would probably make it a little bit shorter. I think 1800 is actually a little bit too long. Um, if I had it second time round, I'd actually probably make it 1600 so that I could bring these jerry can holders in so they're actually sitting on the back of the tray. Um, 
when you are in a car park and stuff like that, it is probably a little bit long. You do jut out and, you know, stick into the roadway a little bit. Um, you know, because I think these are about 230 or 280 mil long. I can't remember off the top of my head now. They're a little bit bigger than standard because um, I did have one made for my um, outboard motor um, fuel tank. So, but anyway, you live and learn, don't you? So, if I can sort of pass one thing on, I think I would make it a little bit shorter. So I think shorter is better in the long run. Uh, anyway, let's go around to this other side. Another set of BCF drawers. I think this one else also is a, um, a fridge slide. It's got like a little chopping board, workbench. It's not too bad, it's a little bit flimsy, but it's not too bad. And then this one also comes out as well. So if you want to you know, maybe put a crate or something on top of there or whatever, you can strap it down and you can slide it out so you're not actually reaching into the canopy all the time. Um, that's kind of one of the things that I did like about these drawers, um, is that feature. Did, were those, those already on it? Or? Yeah, yeah, that comes on it. That comes on it. Yeah, that comes on it. So you can tie down your fridge or whatever you've got sitting on top. Yeah. Um, another set of drawers, I just keep all my tools and bits and pieces in there. Yeah, and that's pretty much we all, all we do on this side. It's just pretty much a bit of storage, a bit of junk to keep the, the chainsaw and a couple of other things. Um, also, another cool little feature from a birthday, Jess actually bought me the ARB compressor. So I've actually hardwired that and mounted that in the back of the canopy here on the headboard. Um, and it came with some little app. I can't remember what that app's actually called, but it's got all these presets. I think it's got about six or seven presets with your tires. Um, obviously, you connect to your app, put your hose on, put it onto your tyre, you can pump it up to 40, or you can set it to your beach presses, pressures of 18 or 15, or whatever you go down to. You can also have that for your um, for your corrugations, you know, whatever pressure you decide to choose, which is pretty cool. Also deflates your tyre as well, so if you set it at 15, chuck the hose on, it'll drop the tyre pressure down to 18, 15, whatever it may be vice versa to pump it back up. So yeah, pretty cool little feature. Um, so you've just put some straps in the top to put the yeah, fishing well, it's rods got on all top? This, yeah, well it's got these MW um, canopies come with all this Unistrut in there. So you just get some Unistrut nuts and some bolts. Um, that's only a temporary sort of setup. I actually need to do something else to, to tidy my fishing rods up in there. Um, but they probably will live in the boat most of the time unless we're going away. So yeah. And the bat batteries? Uh, the battery, I've got that stashed over on this side. I've just got one, as you can see in here, it's a bit hard to see, it's probably a little bit dark. As I said, I've got the 120 amp um, iTech weld. There is a bit more room here if I do want to chuck another one in. So I can, well, I did make that space there so that I could run two, but at this point in time, we're only running one. There's only one last little thing that I want to do. Um, the canopy gets really quite hot. So I want to chuck a couple of solar panels up here on the top because um, it is a bit annoying. When you've got the upright fridge, I've always had uh, like the chest sort of fridges. I don't know what you actually call them. But when you're pulling up at a campsite, you can always chuck them into 240 um, power. With the upright fridge, it doesn't have that capability. So it's always running off the battery. Um, so you definitely will need some solar panels to keep it running. So when you are parked up, if you're not doing anything for the day, um, you know, especially in this heat, the fridge is really working quite hard. Um, so you, it, it is probably the best thing to, to have a couple of solar panels up there um, to keep that battery charged. And not only that, I think it'll make the canopy a whole lot cooler, just create a bit of an air gap between the solar panel and just deflect a bit of that heat off the top of the roof. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the budget build on the MW. Um, fixed canopy. I don't really know what else I can tell you. Um, How much do you reckon you spent on it overall? Uh, well the canopy was about 12, 12 and a half thousand. So they are the the bottom range of uh, canopies out there I, I would say. Um, you know this one's powder coated. The powder coating job is pretty ordinary. It does scratch really easy. Um, I would probably recommend maybe going something like Raptor or um, they do do another one. I can't remember what it's called. It's got a bit of a coarse finish to it. That does look a lot more durable. Um, you know, I know it does look nice and shiny and whatnot, but when you get up close to it, 
you know, it, it scratches really easy. Um, so you're going to be off road, heading down the tracks, it's it's going to get damaged. So um, probably look at, at doing something else. Um, inside the drawers are about 300, well, just under 300 dollars each. Um, so that's about 600 bucks. The upright fridge, I think they're about 1200. Uh, the fridge cage, I think from memory, three or four hundred. Three or four hundred, yeah. Um, the battery, I got that on special. That was about eight ninety nine. Um, the inverter, maybe about four hundred. This was all done last year, so I'll have to double check all the prices. So I, I, I might be a little bit off, but I would say it's probably cost us about sixteen thousand. I would say all up by the time we bought the canopy it all out with the drawers and you know all your electrical cable and stuff like that that stuff adds up right really quick the amount of time it's always going backwards and forwards to the electrical supplies and bloody j car and you know i think i did more trips than anything probably <laughs> spent more in the petrol getting yeah to probably <laughs> going backwards and forwards but when you don't have all that stuff on board it does make it you know quite difficult if it's you know not something you do all the time and you don't want to go buying too much because you don't want to be left over with it because then it just sort of sits in the garage and over time you end up throwing it out so yeah that's our mw budget canopy build and it's been pretty great yeah